Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, welcome. And please click that like and subscribe at the bottom of the screen. And also don't forget to hit that bell notification. This way you get notified every time I upload a video. Well, today's video is all about your brake rotors and inspecting your bike. I had this bike come to me. They're getting a clunking noise in the front end and they found it and I'm gonna show you what we found. All right, here we go. Here's our rotor. You see that? You can hear that. All right, it's not supposed to do that. These are floating rotors and this one's nice and solid. So we got the hardware to replace here off uh, five of these bolts on the left side and the right side of the tire. But while we have the wheel off, we're gonna check the rotor to make sure that it is not um, you know, warped or anything like that. So what we gotta to do to take this off is we got our two caliper bolts here. We have two uh, fender bolts on each side, two caliper bolts on each side. This does not have ABS, but we do have our axle nut over here. And then over here is we got a pinch bolt right here. And then once we pull the axle out and we remove our brake calipers and we get the fender up out of the way, I will uh, show you what we gotta do to do it and go over the part numbers and everything you need to do the job. Okay, go over the list of tools that we used to take the front wheel off. This is a six millimeter Allen socket. And your 12 point sockets for your caliper is a 10 millimeter. And uh, that's a 15 16 axle nut. And lo and behold, a one quarter inch socket. Sorry about that. Right here. For your fender what I do is when I pull the tire off is I will just tilt the fender up just like that out of the way so it is easy to get the tire in and out there's less chance of that fender falling and getting damaged now here for the wheel these look like a t40 so let me go get that I know I'm bringing you guys around a lot with me today <laughs> I apologize but there you go, it is a T40. So we'll get those off, and then I'll show you the parts that failed and what we're replacing them with. All right, crew. What failed was, here's our hardware for the rotor. You have your bolt, a hat spacer for each of the five bolts. Well, you also have a little spring clip like this, and this is the only one that's left out of five of them. So what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna replace all this hardware because there's a reason why it failed. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five. I have five and you know, this part number here is 4150-0019. And it's the spring retainer clip for your brake rotor. All right, and I got the new hats over here, all genuine Harley Davidson parts. That part number is 4150018. It's a bushing for the front brake rotor. And now we have the rotor brake hardware, which this part number is 4150020. So, I don't believe in reusing brake hardware um, for your brake rotor because of the fact of they get hot, they get they pull down, they get brittle, case in point, and they start to fail. So, how does this stack up work? Well, I'll show you. What you need here are your bolts. You put that spacer on. And then you put one of these spring clips in. And you do that for all five. 
and then you install onto your brake rotor and once that's installed I still have to look up the torque but as always I will get you the torque for these bolts and the bolt the, the torque comes directly out of the Harley-Davidson service manual and just so you're curious this is a 2018 Street Glide it's not a special just a regular standard street street glide and me being me and knowing my customer that I got another set to do the other side of this brake rotor because I guarantee you if this failed oh sorry if this failed now on the left side of the wheel I guarantee you on the other side they're going to fail or they are about to fail so I'm going to save this hardware for my friend so when he comes to get his bike I can show him what happened and why his rotor was not um, why it was rattling and clunking and making all sorts of noise so what we want to do here is now we're going to check it for that it's square and it is which is a good thing because now we're not buying a new brake rotor because uh, it failed so it didn't fail so what we're going to do is now we're going to put our hardware in I notice you're not even watching right now so we'll put it up here there you go and we'll what you want to do is you want to line this stuff up so the hat sits inside and you're not crushing the spring washer. That's kind of important when you set this up. I'll take the bolt out of this. It might be a little bit easier. There we go. So yeah, take. sometimes you could just get them right in. Sometimes you just got to remove the bolt to let the hat sit down. The way it's supposed to and we're going to do that with I call them hats but they're spacers but I like calling them hats because they look like hats I mean really they don't look like a top hat to me it does so we're going to do this rotor and then we're going to flip the tire over and then we're going to do the other side and why well, you give me a hard time and then I'm going to put the wheel back on the motorcycle and uh, this job will be done. I do also have a, a curved license plate mount to put on for them. So I'll show you that in a different video on how to change your license plate bracket from the plastic uh, garbage that you get from Harley to a nice metal one that curves and follows the contour of your back fender. And all right, let me uh, pause this and get right back to you guys. All right, crew, we got it all back together. And I'm gonna get you the torque specs here. All right, so let me put this down. This way we could talk. All right, so your front brake disc Let's go on me. I think that's I'm better looking than the wheel. So your front brake disc screws is 16 to 24 foot pounds. Remember what I said about torquing when uh, a screw or nut when they give you a range, right? So if it's 16 to 24 foot pounds, you don't want to go to the max. You want to go in between the 16 and 24. So the difference between 16 and 24 is eight. Half of that is four. So we're going to go right to 20 foot-pounds on that. Now your front axle nut is 70 to 75 foot-pounds. I go to 72 foot-pounds. And then your pinch screw, uh, which is that little 6 millimeter, that is 18 to 22 foot-pounds. And I'm just going to go to 20 foot-pounds. And that's that. All right, so let's get it back together, and I'll get right back to you. All right, crew. We're all done. We got the front wheel back together. We got the rotors on, brake calipers are on. Everything's on, it's done. Here's, the, here's what it looks like when it's done. Just remember guys, if you take your time, you could do just about anything. And if you remember in the beginning, 
this thing was just clunking around. Now it's not because it's got the appropriate parts in there. So when you go through and you go to service your own bike, make sure that you look at everything and make sure it's good. All right, guys. If you like this video and you like to see more content like this, let me know in the comments down below. And until the next time, live the best life you can, ride often, and ride hard. Oh, I can't I can't